Good morning and happy Mother's Day. We are so glad that you're tuning in this morning and joining us for this morning's Kid City lesson. And I think I can speak for all of the Kid City volunteers when I say that we are missing you kids so much. We miss your hugs and your high fives and just being with you while we worship. Um, but we are so grateful that we have this opportunity to meet with you virtually, and we are grateful for that. And we are hoping that if you're able to, you will join us after this, this video on a Zoom call where we'll have a Kid City Cafe time. The links that you would need for that are at lovealtuna.com. So as long as you're able and your parents or guardians are okay with that, we'd love to have you join us. Before we jump into the lesson today, I wanted to take a minute to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms who are watching. And we want you to know that you are so appreciated and so loved. And I think especially in this season that we are in right now, um, you are having to take on extra roles and just adjust to um, this new kind of living. And we want you to know that you are so appreciated for that. And we hope that your family makes you feel that way too. So kids that are watching, make sure anybody who's like a mom to you, whether it be your mom, um, a stepmom, a grandma, an aunt, or just somebody who's like a mother to you, make sure you wish them a very heartfelt Happy Mother's Day today and give them some extra hugs and love and let them know how much you appreciate them. So this morning, we're going to continue our lesson series titled Everyday Armor, in which we're learning about the armor of God and how we can use the tools that God equips us with every day. So far, we've discussed an overview of what God's armor is, and then we dove a little bit deeper into each piece of the armor that we can use. We've learned so far about the belt of truth and the armor of godliness, and today we are going to discuss the good news boots. We meet so many people every single day who need to know the good news of God's love. That's why it's so important to put on our good news boots. So can you say this with me today? Put on the good news boots. So let's say that one more time so we make sure we remember it. Put on the good news boots. Good job. We need this piece of God's armor because everyone needs to hear the good news of how much God loves them. Let's check out this Bible story video about why it's so important to wear the good news boots. You would think that sharing good news would be really easy, but there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. God is fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. But the devil, his enemy, is evil and will do anything to keep people from hearing the good news about God's love. So God gave us a piece of his armor called the Good News Boots. They give us the courage to go and tell the good news, just like Jesus taught his disciples to do. Three days after Jesus died, God brought him back to life. Jesus appeared to his disciples on a mountainside near Galilee, and when they saw him, they worshipped him and thanked God for his love. Jesus had an important message he wanted them to understand. Jesus said, Go and make followers of all the people in the world. Teach them to obey everything I have told you to do, and you can be sure that I will be with you always. The disciples knew that sharing the good news of God's love might be hard, but they did what Jesus asked them to do. When we decide to follow Jesus, we should tell the people around us the good news about him. It can be easy to make excuses like, people might make fun of me, I don't know what to say, or it's too hard. But with the good news boots, God gives us the right words to say and helps us to not be afraid. Jesus' promise to the disciples is true for us, too. He will always be with us. When we wear the good news boots, telling other people about God's love has the power to change their lives forever. We can put on the good news boots. That story is so important because it helps us to understand that it won't always be easy to tell others the good news of God's love. But it also helps us to see that people won't know the good news if we don't tell them and we don't show them. The boots in God's armor give us the courage to share the good news of his love with everyone, whether it be people who live next door, people who live far away, and even people that can be hard to get along with. And you will probably meet people throughout your life that are a little bit hard to get along with. Maybe they don't see eye to eye or believe in the same things that you believe in, um, but it's still really important that we live like Jesus and that we share God's love with them and for them. We can wear the good news boots and trust that Jesus is with us as we share God's love with the world. 
So each week at the end of the lesson, we have been reviewing the armor of God. So let's do that together. Every day I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation so I will remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the spirit because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now I stand firm and pray. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us your full armor. Please help us to remember to put on each and every piece of that armor so that we can stand firm against the challenges that we face in our lives every day. We know that you are greater than anything that we face, and we thank you so much for that. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So remember this week that we have God's armor and God's power with us, and we're ready to face anything that should come our way. We are hoping that if you're able to, you will join us after this, this video on a Zoom call where we'll have a Kid City Cafe time. The links that you would need for that are at lovealtuna.com. So as long as you're able and your parents or guardians are okay with that, we'd love to have you join us. See you next week.